Hi, I'm Mark Levy. Today we're going to be braiding kawa. We're going to do a four-strand kawa and a six-strand kawa. The four-strand is great for a one-pound loaf. The six-strand can be done with one pound, but it's really good for a two-pound or larger loaf of bread. Let's get started. So the tools we're going to use is a silicone baking mat to roll the kawa out on. And I'll begin by just basically making a little log of my dough. And then I'll use a rolling pin to roll it out. For a one pound loaf of bread, I like to make this about 12 to 14 inches long, roughly rectangular in shape. Then I'll use a bench scraper to cut it into four strips. Yes, I know you can roll the strips out, but to me it seems that takes a little bit too long. And this way works fine. And the end result, quite frankly, looks just the same. Next, we'll separate the four strips. Make them all about the same length. Join them at the top. Now, the whole secret to this braid is to take the outer, outer strand and bring it over, and then the, you'll see. You know what? It's easier to show you than to talk about it. Take this strand, I'll bring this down. Take this strand, I'll bring it up. Now you have two strands in the middle. The one on top gets brought down to the middle and then the one next to it replaces that. The one on top goes down the middle, the next strand replaces it. This one comes down, that one goes up, this strand goes down, that one goes up, this strand goes down, that one goes up, this strand goes down, that one goes up, goes down, goes up, Goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, and when it gets to the end, you just kind of smush them all together a little bit, give them a little twisty, stick it under, and there is your four strand cob. So now we're going to make a six strand cob. Once again, my dough. And I'm going to roll it up into a little bit of a log to make it kind of uniform. And again, roll this out to about the same length. Maybe a little bit wider so I have room to cut my six strands. Now again, with a one pound loaf, this may be overkill. I usually do a four stranded hollow for the one pounder, but for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and do a six stranded with a smaller loaf and see how that comes out. I'm going to cut this up the middle. I'm going to cut this one third on one side, and one third. Again, one third, I'm just eyeballing it, it isn't exact, it doesn't have to be exact, this is a homemade cow. slight imperfections add to its value. I'm using a bench scraper, but you could certainly use a knife if you wanted to. So there are six strands. There are smaller strands, obviously, than we had before. The braid is essentially the same. It's just with two more strands. So once again, we're going to smush all the pieces together at the top. 
for the old stick. The top one goes down, the bottom one goes up. And from here it's exactly the same. Take the top one, comes down into the middle, the one on the end comes up, keep your strain separated so you know where you're going, the top one comes down into the middle, the bottom one goes up, top one comes down into the middle, the bottom one goes up, top one goes down in the middle, the bottom one goes up, top one goes down in the middle, up, Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I think you can see how this would be much more dramatic with a larger loaf and bigger strands, but you get the idea. And you can certainly experiment with this on your own. The nice thing is if you mess it up, you can roll all back together again, start all over again. Smush it together, give it some definition, and there you have a six-stranded one-pound loaf column. Here are the two loaves on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. And this will go into the proof drawer to rise for one hour. Okay, so the hollows are now out of the warming drawer from rising for an hour. And we're going to paint them with an egg wash, which is basically a whole egg diluted down with about a half an egg shell of water. And from here, they go into the oven. And now, out of the oven, here are the freshly braided collars. Shabbat Shalom.